Now at 5.30, taking steps to save lives, Bardstown police are tackling the city's traffic issues. The department does not have a traffic unit, but it's now dedicating one officer to the city's road problems. WLKY's Alexis Matthews explains the new position and how neighbors are reacting to this new safety effort. Nelson County sees over a thousand crashes each year with more than 70% happening here in Bardstown at busy intersections like this. Now to address this issue and other traffic concerns, Bardstown police have hired a full time traffic officer. Some of the traffic complaints that pour into Bardstown Police Department include potholes, traffic signal issues, pedestrian safety, and speeding from Highway 245 to parts of Bluegrass Parkway. And honestly, I've had um, three staff members park with their vehicles parked out front that have either been sideswiped or people have actually hit their cars and almost pushed it into the building. Talbot Tavern is in the heart of Bardstown and manager Chuck Wood says many crashes happen at the roundabout in Court Square. I don't even know how many times they've replaced that center sign so it can only help to have somebody regulating this. While traffic concerns are regular duties of every patrol officer, Assistant Chief Joe Seely says one officer will now zero in on the city's problems and solutions full time. Our pedestrian walkways downtown, if he can, he sees something not painted like it should be, just gets it wore out over time, he'll be able to share with the engineers to, hey, we need to get a public works, we need to get that fixed. In addition to engineering potential hazards on the roadway, the officer will be tasked with educating drivers on best safety practices and enforcing the rules of the road. I'm a big proponent of accountability and, and that's to take care of each other. The new traffic officer will also work closely with the department's narcotic unit to intercept any drugs that may be moving through the area. This interdiction piece will look, be looking for bulk narcotics that may come in through tractor trailers, RVs, whatever it may be. They have the city in the best mind when they make implementations like this. And uh, I just, I think it can only do good. From Barstown, Alexis Matthews, WLKY News.